Okay, they said ABCD is a rectangle. What is the area of the shaded region? Okay, before I will solve it, let me explain one concept. Okay, this is a square of sides A. And we're asked to find the area of this shaded region. For us to get the area, what we have to do is to subtract the remaining area. That is this part. A, F, B, C, D. From that of the square. And to solve it this way is hard. So what I will do is to join some point. I will join D to F and C to F. So I've joined that. So it's now easy for us to solve because we have an equilateral triangle. Yes, this is an FDC is an equilateral triangle because looking at this, this is a quarter circle and this is also a quarter circle. And is is a quarter circle of of radius A. Yes. Look at so meaning that d f is also a and c f is also a do you get if you look at this quarter circle this is a that this is the center now so this is the radius this is also the radius this is also the radius so that same way in the other quarter circle this is the radius. so we have an equilateral triangle of side a which means that each interior angle is 60. Each interior angle is 60. And remember, this is a square. This is a square, meaning that this is 30 degrees. The remaining angle is 30. 30. So we have a sector, two sectors, and a collateral triangle. So once we know the areas of the two sectors and the collateral triangle, you add and subtract the area from that of the square. So let's get the areas of the sectors first. So let's call this A1. This is A2. Why this sector A3? So these are the three remaining areas. Once you subtract the areas of this three part from that of the square, that gives us this. So let's start with, you know, A1 and A, A3 are the same. Yes. So we see that A1 is equal to A3, which is now area of a sector. You know, this is a sector of central angle, 30 degrees. So we have 30 over 360 times pi A squared, because the radius is A. So... We now have pi a squared over 12. And area of the equilateral triangle is a special formula for area of an equilateral triangle, which is root 3 over 4 side squared. The side is a, so a squared. So that is the area of the equilateral triangle. Therefore, the area of the shaded region is now area of the square minus the sum of a one a two. So, which is area of a squared is a squared minus area of this sector. You know. This and this are the same. So let's do A1. This so which is I'm adding A1 and A3 straight forward. So we have two times pi A squared over 12. That's area of A1 and A3. They are the same. So you can see a sector with the same radius and central angle plus A2 is now root 3 over 4 A squared. So we have what is common. You can see two two here is as pi. Okay, let's just write one more time. A square minus this pi a squared over six. Why this is root three 
over 4 is squared. Therefore, the area we are looking for is now, which is equal to, you know, the LCM of a squared is common in all, so we'll factor a squared and the LCM of 1, 6, and 4 is 12, so over 12. 12 and 1 times 1, 12, so we have 12 minus 12 and 4, 3, 3 times that is 12, minus 3 root 3 minus 12 and 6, 2, 2 times that is 2 pi. So that's the formula. I've joined the point and look at the previous diagram is the same as that check we have two parts now do you see it the first part is this see the same as the other one because here is one so this is one cm is also one cm yes because it's a semicircle this is also one cm so this, we now have a square so using the concept here the area is just area of one times two because this and the two are the same so the answer is now two times a squared over 12 of 12 minus 3 root 3 minus 2 pi. Do you get the formula is a squared over 12 times that? And looking at the diagram, our a is 1. So this is 2 times 1 over 12, which is 1 over 6. 12 minus 3 root 3. So that's the answer. So it's just the concept. The answer is option B. It's just the previous concept. So it's a very logical question. Thank you.